if you have v380 ip camera and then you want to format or reset or you don't know how to add a new wi-fi password or how to reset or how to change language if you format and then it's already in the default chinese language how you can all configure or set up or change password all everything you can get in this video so before we continue if you are new in my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so let's begin to our topic so as you can see if i on my camera even you press the this reset button so if you don't understand the chinese how you can format what it's going on or so how you can format so the best option is now i'm showing you so you have to go to the play store and then type in the search bar v380 pro and then click that one i have so already installed v380 pro in my phone so i just click open and then click the i have read and agree and then read and agreed terms and condition and then get started click get started now here is asking the two option you log in or register if you have already id on v380 pro you just straight away log in if you don't have any id and then you are you are going to configure your camera is a new device or you want to create a new id on new email so click the register so i want to show you the step by step that's why i am going to register v380 pro register so click that one now here is asking the two option please select a country or region and then second option is please enter your email so we select the our country or region here click the arrow and then we select here our region so i'm in the asia we select the asia and then click the email address so we select any email address for example i select that one then click next now it will send you the six digit code on your email so you have to check the email so i just minimize and then go to my email section verify and then select my email so as you can see we already got the code so we just copy the code we click the next now you have to enter the password so you choose any strong password after choosing your strong password you click the confirm now we already created our account so we just sign after entering the password just click the login now we already created our id and then even your login your id you have already id you have the this option so first thing is you have to give the necessary permission on this device so we click the necessary permission and then allow all the permissions while using the app permissions allow and then enable setting allow and then after allowing all the permissions we just click the confirm so permission is successfully added now we have to add the device so what we need to do we we just click the add device and then allow while using the app and then scan the qr code so as you can see here is the qr code so if we scan that one as you can see we already detected our camera so what we need to do here we select our wi-fi network and then add our password so next option is we select our wi-fi password after entering your wi-fi password you just click the confirm and then click i know now here is showing you the barcode but even we detect this uh, scan this camera with the barcode because we cannot understand the chinese language so we don't know it's connected or no so better i recommend you to select the first option no voice prompt network connected so we select that one and then we need to use the ap hotspot connection so ap hotspot connection is hotspot of this camera so we click the ap hotspot connection 
and then select our Wi-Fi network first. So we select our Wi-Fi network first. The password is already we saved. We just confirm. And then here you need to confirm connect AP is port. Then you can see the code of this camera is appearing on your Wi-Fi network. So we just click the AP is port. We click that one and then I know click that one. So in the Wi-Fi network, it's automatically your camera will network will appear. If if cannot appear, you just refresh your Wi-Fi network. Now, as you can see, here is the network of the camera. So we select that one. If, so as you can see, the network is connected. So we just back, click back. So now it's connecting the device. So we have to wait for the few seconds. It, as you can see, activating device. Now you select your area where your camera is located. So I just select the office and then view device so my device is now online if i as you can see it's online i know so i just so camera is already connected now the second option is we change the language first so what we need to do if you want to set up the ptz all up all everything you just have to press the setting and then here is the setting general setting uh, your network password device time firmware setting alarm setting recording setting ptz speed setting device volume setting and then if and then we need to change the language we the last option advanced setting and then select the language chinese to english Chinese to English. Now it's in English. If we press back, it will loading and then automatically our camera language will change in the English language. So now no more Chinese language. So that is the all setup. If you want to recording setup or other things, you have here options, image setting and then full color or black and white. All you can detect. If you want to turn off the sensor, automatically uh, detect that one all here or even the recording setup ptz setup all you can set up here even continuous recording or format sd card you can simply format your sd card it means to say all complete setting is here after you connecting your camera so it, our camera is connected language is already changed and then all everything is perfectly working even the you can sh see the date also it's showing the perfectly so hope this video is going to helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget thumbs up. Please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for the new updates. So let's see you in the next video with the new tips, new tricks. Thank you.